after the international break. Neil Lennon will see this as the ideal opportunity to prepare his side for Wednesday night's Champions League game against Benfica. It's well won by Brown, finds Hooper. Now Commons on the left foot. Chris Commons has Celtic in front inside four minutes. A lethal effort with the left foot from 25 yards from Chris Commons. That's now four goals in eight games this season for the midfielder. And what a hit it was from the edge of the box. This one up and curled towards the top corner. Foster got across well. And he was at full stretch here, the big goalkeeper. Great effort by Mackay. Max by the keeper. Collins puts the ball up the line. Anderson, he's short with that one. Oh, so sprays a right, and Hooper was almost in there. The defenders saved by their goalkeeper, Alan Manis, because Hooper managed to get there in front of the goalkeeper. Oh, this is lost out there. Now it's fine. It's in field. Now Taddy, he's got space for the shot. And St Johnston are level. Gregory Taddy with his first league goal for St Johnston. And how much space did he manage to find in the Celtic box? But how well did he finish it? His first goal since scoring for Inverness at Pitodri back in March. And what a hit it was by Gregory Taddy. Commons lining this one up. Well, it was always rising, but some power in the effort from Chris Commons. He's already delivered a warning shot to St Johnson. And he is in the mood this afternoon. Ball from Foster. Oh, and Anderson's got himself in trouble again. Commons was onto it. He feels that he was taken out by the St. Johnson defender. Well, did Anderson get anything on the ball there? It was a right mess. Stephen Anderson, but nothing given by Ewan Norris, the referee. It's Mackay. It's done well there. In for Taddy. Now Peter Pollock just looking to curl the ball into the top corner. And the Scotland under-21s player almost had St Johnson in front. Collins back to Mulgrew. And he's lost out there to Peter Pollock. He's going to get on to this. Pollock now. One on one against Mulgrew. Goes past him. And was that a shoulder charge by Charlie Mulgrew? Again, no free kick given. With Wanyama to Commons. Mulgrew outside him. Celtic have already drop points to him and Ross County but Commons is in here and Hooper and the ball's loose and Manus has just about got a hold of it beautiful ball in from Mulgrew to Commons and Hooper just couldn't convert now it's with Hasselbank into round Vine shifts the ball in field to his right foot Oh, what a finish from Rowan Vine! And with 10 minutes to play, St Johnson have the lead. This is a team that haven't won since March of last season. But Rowan Vine, with a delightfully curled effort, has St Johnson in front against the champions. Oh, going long is the only option, and they found Tony Watt. It's Tony Watt against Manus, and the goalkeeper saves well. You would have backed the 18-year-old in this situation, but the goalkeeper did his job. The ball is headed clear, 
and the winless run is over for St Johnson. They've won it here by two goals to one.